Hi, and welcome back to Rani the Reader. In today's video, we're going to be doing a uh, book haul. I think the first formal book haul on this channel. So I'm super excited. I um, was lucky enough to receive some gift cards as Christmas gifts this past year for Christmas. And so I ended up deciding to spend those gift cards in getting some books from Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and go through them. Uh, more in depth, I did post a quick uh, kind of like TikTok and YouTube short of uh, those books already. So you can kind of have a sneak peek of what we're going to be discussing in this video. But this video specifically is going to be going through kind of the synopsis or what I know about the book so far uh, and just kind of discussing when I plan on getting to it or if I've already read it. So let's just go ahead and jump into all of that. All right, so the first book is uh, the only one that I have already read, and that's going to be If You Change Your Mind by Robbie Weber, I think is how you pronounce this author's last name. So uh, this book is a male male YA uh, romance book that I read in 2023. Uh, I have now also since read his next book that came out in 2023, because I believe this came out in 2022, um, which the other one, which is on the back here, is I Like Me Better. Can you see that? There you go. This book follows the story of Harry, who is a young gay teenager who is spending his summer trying to prepare a screenplay that he is looking to present or hoping to present uh, for this like prestigious screenplay writing competition that he is hoping to enter. So that is kind of the like forwarding plot or I guess background plot, not forwarding plot, background plot of this book while he also is dealing with a past like hookup boyfriend situation ship type deal coming back to town and then there is a new kid in town who he also might be developing feelings for. So overall it's a um, very cutesy like um, not you know doubling into super difficult topics but still covering some topics in a very good well-rounded way for um, younger uh, queer people who may be picking up this bo book both boys girls you know, people questioning their sexuality, just their identity in any sort of way. I think this is good representation. I really like Robbie Weber. Uh, I liked, I like me better as well. So happy to add this to my collection. Uh, and yeah, I definitely recommend this as this is the only book that I've read so far. Definitely, definitely can recommend this one. So the next book is sticking in the same sort of genre. It's another YA male male romance and that's going to be Lose You to Find Me by Eric J. Brown. Now this author is the same author who wrote one of my favorite books of last year of 2023 and really one of my favorite books of all time probably All That's Left in the World which is like a dystopian mystery story um, kind of about like the end of the world and these two boys traversing it together and it's a very slow burn romance. This book sounds a lot different. Um, first off, I believe that it's contemporary, just straight up. The synopsis talks about um, this boy who is working at a country club and he has to train one of the new hires who ends up being one of his like crushes that he knew uh, back in like middle school. And I think now they are uh, either entering their senior year of high school or have just graduated high school, like around like the 16 to 18 range. So I'm excited to jump into this. I'm planning on picking this up actually very, very soon um, as part of like a little vlog project that I um, am doing. So I am excited to see what I think of this. I definitely have high expectations after really liking All That's Left in the World, but I have to say I really enjoyed aspects of All That's Left in the World that had to do with the dystopian science fiction, like post-apocalyptic action. So jumping into just a straight contemporary, I have tampered my expectations a bit. I know it's not going to be the exact same thing and not the exact same story, obviously, but the writing was still really strong uh, for being YA, um, which I know for being YA, I thought that his last book was good. I know that, you know, YA can sometimes be written in a certain way that feels like it is talking down to its audience. And I did not feel that was the case for his prior book. So I'm hoping that this one sticks with those same sort of um, writing styles, but we will end up seeing. All right, the next three books are all going to be mystery thrillers, um, you know, my favorite genre. So the first one that we have is going to be The Stranger in the Mirror by Liv Constein. Uh, this is an author duo. It's two sisters who write under uh, one name. I've read one of their books before, The Story of Mrs. Paris, or The Last Miss B Mrs. Parish. I think something around that was the name. Um, this book follows a woman who I believe actually gets amnesia 
Um, like she has this whole life and then she has some sort of accident, gets amnesia. All I really want to know, I read the synopsis on the back one time um, when I was thinking about ordering this book because um, it's been kind of like on my wish list or my interested list for a long time. So definitely something that like I'm, I'm been intrigued by, but I don't want to know too much. I thought that the last Mrs. Parish was good. It did not blow me out of the water or anything, um, but I'm willing to give the author duo a second chance. And this is the one that I think is going to be most appealing to me. So we'll see. It also is going to be super quick. I think it's like just over 200 or some pages. Like I think it's like 250 pages. So it should be a super quick read. Um, and I am excited for it. And I definitely am excited to see what I think of this. All right, and then the next one that we have is honestly the book I'm probably most excited about because it's something that I've just heard a lot of good things about, but I actually don't know what the book itself is about. And that is They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. I don't know anything about this book. I'm like withholding myself from reading the synopsis. So I don't know really a single plot point of this. All I know is that everyone loves it. It seems like every time I see this book, being recommended or being mentioned it's because someone has given it five stars and just absolutely loved it and is like blown away by it is like oh my god you'll never like see what happens in here coming it's just like a, such a twisty turny fun thrill ride so I'm super intrigued to just one even see what this is about I think because I, I have heard the synopsis before like when this book first came out which I think was in 2020 so I, I think it's about like a boarding school or something I think it involves schooling of some sort. Honestly, I remember this being compared a lot to um, For Your Own Good by Samantha Downing, which also has to do with schooling, like a boarding school, like a teacher in a boarding school. Whether I'm like totally misremembering that or not, I guess we'll <laughs> be yet to see when I finally get to this book and finally read it. I, I just, I'm very intrigued by this and I want to know. So this one is going really to the top of my TBR list. Like, I think I'll probably get to this in February sometimes. I have a lot of audiobooks and things checked out for the end of January, so that will be finishing. And actually, I'm not even sure when this video is being posted, so um, this might be in February, so we'll see. But yeah, I am just intrigued super immensely by this book and cannot wait to finally see what I think of it and see if I agree with everyone that it's five stars. Amazing. All right, and then finally we have The Woman in the Library by Suleri Gentil. This book is about women who I believe um, are all like at a library in a quiet room, like a reading room of some sort. I th actually think, uh, yeah, the synopsis specifically says the reading room at the Boston Public Library. Someone dies, basically. And the story is like, what happened to this person? What's going on with these women inside this reading room? Um, like what drives them there? Are they connected? Ha is this murder seemingly random? At least I think it's a murder. Um, or is it like totally a coincidence? I think because we're reading the book, it's probably not a coincidence, but that is what this book is about. I have heard very good things about this. I have seen some four and five stars, so very, very good reviews. And Lala really liked that uh, this, I think it was one of her literary dead book club pick books, if I'm not mistaken. So that's definitely intriguing because, um, you know, they're people always seem to like very wildly on their thoughts on some of those book book club picks. Also the cover is very pretty. It's, I guess you can't really see it, but it's just like someone holding a book. And then I don't know, I just really like the font and like the black and whiteness of it with a little bit of like design. Very appealing to me, very much my aesthetic of what I like and things. So yeah, that's this book and um, hopefully I'll get to it soon. But that is everything. That was the last book, like I said. So um, let me know if you've read any of these, if any of them are intriguing to you, if you've heard of them, think about checking them out, anything like that. So until next time, I will come at you again soon with another video. Bye.